Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. During a Stalingrad section of Call of Duty Vanyard's Zombies mode, as you guys can see pages of the Quran were seen scattered on the floor and in some cases splattered with blood. Now after realizing this, I mean I don't even realize how you cannot know that it's the Quran for God's sake. I mean who on earth are the people that are bringing in the content? You can't just bring in random bits of paper to be honest, but they did apologize, but they apologized on their Middle Eastern account. I don't know what they're trying to say, are they trying to say that Muslims are only in the Middle East? Because this isn't in a Middle Eastern game, this is in Call of Duty Vanyard. So I don't know, I'm confused. Now I'm assuming you will do an apology for the English audience as well in, on your English handles and to just, you know, encourage you to do so. I'm going to pin a tweet and you guys feel free to retweet that and also create your own posts as well. Yeah, because they need to know when they do stuff like this that they've crossed the line. Of course we've always got token Muslims who don't follow their faith and feel like they can speak for all of the Muslims and uh, this guy ironically called who cares says I'm Muslim and had no problem with these references for God's sake it's a WW2 game not supposed to be all rainbows and sunshine. Well there you go mate if who cares is okay with it then that's the case closed then isn't it? <laughs> I mean why on earth are we even discussing it? Shut the video down mate yeah that is it's sorted because who cares says he, it doesn't bother him so that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles I'm afraid. And quite a few Christians made <laughs> so quite a few Christians also made a comparison with the bible saying what's the big deal and one sister really put it nicely and she goes well this ain't your religion this has nothing to do with you or your opinion. It, it does get better, G give me a sec. Just so you can understand, there we go. There's regulations for Quran. You can't touch the Quran with dirty hands, i.e. you need the ritual washing which is called the wudu before touching the Quran. You can't touch it when you're on your period. You can't leave it on the floor. You can't leave it open unnecessarily. You don't, you can't take it to the bathroom, can't sleep on it, etc. The question guys is why? Yeah, why is so much emphasis put on this book? Well, firstly as Muslims we believe that it is the word of God. That's right, whatever God wanted you and me to do, our instruction manual on this planet is the Quran. Yes, when you buy something from the shop it comes with an instruction manual so you can use it properly. So how we can live our lives properly, we believe Quran word for word is the word of God. Now <laughs> listen to this logic here, the Quran is Arabic, the Prophet spoke Arabic and we read the Quran in Arabic. If we contrast this with the Bible, the Bible is in Greek, Jesus spoke Aramaic but it's read in English. Clearly you can see there's a big difference between the Islamic tradition and the Christian tradition. Another difference, pick up a Bible and then look at the preface, King James Version, it will say this book contains major and minor mistakes. I'm sorry but as Muslims we do not accept that at all. Our book has no mistakes in it, zero. And not to mention it is the most read book on the planet. Somewhere anytime we'll be reading the Quran because we read it five times a day for our prayers, we read it on a regular basis and in Ramadan, the fasting month, most mosques will complete the recitation of the full Quran in the mosque. Now I know what you're saying, yeah, 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 we've heard it all before but what makes your book right? What's the proof? So I'm going to link to links in the description, one by Ayera and one by Muhammad Hijab, definitely do check it out for further reading. But I'm just going to give you four, yeah, four things that should get you thinking about yo, this Quran is no joke mate, yeah? The first thing is prophecies, yeah? Prophecies that can be verified by even non-Muslims as well, yeah? So let me give you one prophecy. At the time of the Muslims, the Persians and the Byzantines were having a war mate and the Byzantines were getting smashed, yeah? Absolute demolished. And then in Surah Rum, the chapter of Rum, it was revealed 
yes, the Byzantines will win within nine years. Now, people think, hang on a minute, these guys are getting absolutely smashed and the Quran's made this prophecy. Why? Why would the Quran make the exact opposite prophecy? <laughs> within nine years, the Byzantines actually did win. And a non-Muslim, we have a non-Muslim that verifies this in the Chronicles of Theopolis. He actually says, that's indeed what happened as you guys can see. There are others as well, for example, in Surah uh, Lahab. The Quran said that Abu Lahab will not accept Islam. Now, if this was a false book, yeah, let's face it, that would have been a very risky thing to do because Abu Lahab, just out of spite, could have said, yeah, well, I accept Islam. So if I accept Islam now, your book is wrong. Islam, but why didn't he? That's all he had to say, but he didn't. Next, the Quran makes two bold challenges. Number one, there's no contradiction in it. And number two, the inimitability challenge. At that time, the masters of the language were the Arabs and no one was able to produce a verse like it. People have tried, but they have failed. Had it been just any regular book, let's face it, mate, you'd easily be able to say these are the contradictions. Yep, there you go, a few verses like it. Yep, go on, on your bike, mate. Yeah, let's get on with our life. 1400 years have passed and Islam is only growing. You know what? I missed the point. Structurally, yeah, you can see symmetry. Here's only one example in Surah Baqarah. If you want to see more of these, Raymond Farron has written a book. Again, I link it in the description. So going back to number four, there's also numerical miracles. Yeah, and I'll call them miracles and I'll explain why. One such example, when Allah mentions in the Quran of the likeness of Adam, Prophet Adam and Prophet Jesus, at that time they were both mentioned seven times each. And as they're mentioned in the Quran, then at the end they're mentioned 25 times. And bear in mind the Prophet peace be upon him was unlettered and he was unable to write it down and do calculations and everything and the Quran was revealed based upon circumstance and situation. Somebody would come ask the Prophet a question then he would respond via revelation. Yeah so that requires an immense amount of planning. It's just ridiculous. And if somebody can't even write, that makes a mission impossible. So if we look at all of these things, then we say that the inference to the best explanation, yeah, the inference to the best explanation is that the Quran has to be from God. Yeah, we take them all together. And I didn't even mention the fact that the Quran is preserved. The yes, the Quran is the only book that claims to be preserved and it, you can check the manuscripts that are dating back to the time of compilation. In fact, the oldest manuscript or fragment is found here in the UK in Birmingham, Birmingham University, not even in a Muslim country, in a non-Muslim country. Yet the Bible can't say that, the Old Testament can't say that either, the Torah can't say that. It's the same Quran that was revealed at the Prophet, the same Quran that we read today. Why? Because it was orally preserved, didn't rely on books because books can be changed you know you can make mistakes when you're copying and all that and the mere fact look a girl as young as six has memorized the Quran some say there's somebody even younger why because Allah says he's made the book easy for you so those of you wondering why Muslims are getting bent out of shape and here is a reason why you should also look into the Quran I'll put another link in the description where you can download it uh, or buy it for free. Hope you guys understand. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.